hello guys in today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how to create this really simple animation of a cruise ship on on the ocean so i saw this video from a documentary i was watching on this uh, youtube channel business insider so i just decided to make it so without wasting more time let's get into it so before we start please if you're yet to subscribe please hit that subscribe button and like and share this video so that more people can see it. so the first thing we need to do is create a sky background just a simple sky background so for this i'll go to the shape layer here and so this is going to be a gradient so i'm just going to click gradient and because i've already created this before i already have the color palette i want to use so you can copy this color code and use it this is going to be so i'll just click ok then double click on this shape layer to double click here to create this gradient here so to make this much to look more like a uh, sky we need to go down to the uh, rectangle one i'm just going to name this sky then go down to the gradient and at the start start point i'm going to make this 48 minus 48 minus 48 and this one minus 3 15 then for the end point i'm going to make this one minus 24 and and 281 and now you can see that it's faded out a bit of feather so that it doesn't look too you get it so the next thing we need to do now is create the ocean so for this what we need to do is we'll click on our shape tool here then make sure you change your your fill from gradient to solid and click ok then i'm just going to draw a shape like this then after that after that i will bring in an effect called wave warp wave warp so this plugin right here is fs console for adding effects to your layers without needing to go to over here this is also a free plugin from video copilot so i'm just going to add this then you're going to do a couple of settings here just we're going to leave this as cyan then i'm going to change this to 33 the wave height to 33 the wave width to 731 I'm going to leave it as 90, uh, 90 degrees then i'll change the speed to 0 .0 0 0.2 here then leave the rest of the setting as it is so you can ahead uh, and also change this to bottom edge so only the top edges so and i've also also brought in i also brought in a color palette that i'll be using for the oceans because i'll be duplicating i'll be having three layers of this ocean so i'll just reduce this the corner so for this first one i will leave this color here then I will name this portion one. Then I'm going to duplicate this layer again. Then bring up the position parameter and bring it down a bit. Then I'm going to change the color from. I'm going to use the pen tool. Let's just say this one here. And click OK. So for this, I'll change the settings a bit. Already you can see that we already have something flowing, but I want to so that they, they are not flowing in the same pattern. So I'll go down to the to the effects control tab for the second layer. Then I'll change the the height. This time I'll make it 56. Then the width will be 537. 735, sorry. Still 90 degrees. Then this one I'll change the speed to 0 0.3. Then this to 0, 104. And now you can see it's we have something different there also i'll just click here again and make this three then click on your position parameter to bring it down a bit then i'm going to change the color to this deep red then under the effects control i'm going to change this to 60 60 this to 750 Then the wave speed to 0 0.5 or 6, whichever one you want, 0 0.5. Then the face to 75 or 71. Now you can see that when you play through, we have something slick. So after that, the next thing we need to do is bring in our cruise ship and I'll put it right on top of Ocean 1. Then because it's a bit large, I'll shrink it down a bit. 
then reposition it so it's above the ocean it's like this then i'll move it to the back then we'll do some a few simple animations that we'll do quickly here so for the position at the beginning of the timeline i'm going to click the keyframe here then go to the end then drag the cruise ship over to the other side just so it doesn't go out and we have this so again there's another thing we need to do i'm going to add in a, a simple expression so just type in wiggle then two ten ten then after that after that i'm going to bring in the rotation the rotation par and parameter here so I, what i need what i want to do is so that the boat feels like it's bouncing on the water because of the ocean waves so to do this i'll click and make sure your your anchor point is at the middle of the the boat so i'll click the keyframe here for rotation then go one seconds forward then make this one go to two seconds go to two seconds and make this two then go to three seconds and i'll change this back to one again then go here and change it change it to zero so you get the point so just do this for the entire for the entire duration of your listen or you can just maybe copy this one and paste it here i don't know if it will be just paste it on five five here so let me just play this quickly and see now you can see that we have so you can really play around with some of the keyframes and animation here to really get what you want so this is really very simple to do so if you enjoyed this tutorial and you've watched this period please give me a follow or subscribe to my channel and like thank you